Oh my gosh, we're live. This is Ginger Cook with Acrylic Painting Monday and I uh, want to welcome everybody. Thanks you guys for coming and uh, we're going to have a fantastic uh, night tonight. We're going to do an 8 by 10 painting of some butterfly fish, which is going to be, we're going to show you some neat techniques with uh, you know, doing coral with a sponge and some, um, just some fun things maybe you've never thought about doing when you're doing a painting and we're going to refresh some of your memory about lights and darks and all that stuff. We've got um, some fantastic uh, uh, giveaways tonight. We're, uh, we've got a couple of downloadable lessons from our academy that we'll be giving away as well as, oh, I'm late for it, uh, the Sal uh, you know, a wonderful thing in Salvador paint. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But in the meantime, we want to invite you to join us in our um, Houston studio and uh, want to give a big welcome to um, uh, John Little, who is our my significant other and also our cameraman. And at the control station, he will be answering your questions if you're uh, we're lucky enough to attend during our live shows. And uh, the chat, if you have a question for me, uh, we would appreciate if you would write it in big capital letters. If a lot of people come, we always hope a lot of people do, um, sometimes we miss it. So if it's really important to you that we answer your question, send it to us in the contact us, acrylic painting with a ginger cook, uh, uh, dot com and use the contact us and say, I have a question for, can you answer this on the Monday show? We are also going to feature some of our Academy artists tonight who have been doing a bang up job this week. Can't do everybody. All of you have been, we've gotten a lot of, of, of paintings, uh, you know, sent, sent to me of you guys and we can't, we're just going to feature a few. It doesn't mean we don't love everybody else. We just, we just have, we're kind of limited on that, but we're going to feature a few. So you want to watch and see if maybe you're one of the ones. And um, John, if you're down here on our page, here's our, our reference photo for our fish. I think this is, um, I think this is kind of, they're kind of interesting. You have this little black triangle eye and you've got this sort of neat light underneath them and some interesting coral. I think this is kind of, the, these are, I think this will be really fun. Now I've started, uh, I want to first off talk to you a little bit about my palette. Uh, not oftentimes in the last year or so, you've seen me just pretty much strictly do the Salvador uh, paints. And um, and, and this is the, the, the stuff I normally use uh, on our YouTube show. But in our Academy lessons, for the most part, 99% of the time, we're using our professional uh, acrylics, body. like either Golden or um, uh, Liquitex Heavy Body, uh, I'm very fond of um, Holbein, so a, a, a paint that I've recently found, some Matisse. We haven't done as well with Matisse lately because fewer vendors carry it in the States. So if you live in Australia, it's an excellent paint to use. We we like that. So, but wherever you live, it, you know we, we highly recommend professional acrylics if you're doing larger paintings. And we're going to show you some of those. But let me just give you, uh, this is what we call a working stay wet palette. Um, You've got, I, I did another painting earlier I've been working on. This, I, boy, waste not, want not, you guys. That's the key here. You've got titanium white, uh, transparent zinc white, burnt umber, uh, ultramarine blue, phthalo blue, dosnine purple, cad red medium, magenta. This is sort of a neat color. This is called um, cadmium orange. And I like that. It's kind of this kind of light color. And uh, then we've got... Um, Cad yellow light, cad yellow medium, and yellow oxide. Pretty much that's what's out there, you guys. The, the, basically the core colors. Core colors. I think this is a little Payne's Gray, which is, Payne's Gray is ultramarine blue and black. It's a blue-black. It's a blue-black. So um, probably more blue than black, but it's a blue-black. So what we're going to start, we're going to also be using a sponge. And I, you'll notice that the first thing I've got here is the background. But before I tell you about that, let's just welcome our moderators who have come. Hopefully, uh, who we got here tonight, John? <laughs> who showed up tonight? Well, we've got Luann, Steffi, and Judy right off the bat. I can see their names. And Lynn from our Quebec office. And Liz, I believe, is still... Liz camping. is out in California. Yep. In the heat That's of right. visiting a great-grandchild. In 117 got, degree weather. That's yeah, what I've been yeah. doing. So, but she's been checking in our Facebook page. And um, yeah. incidentally, we have a, we talk about F Facebook Club. I'm going to say that right off. We have a Ginger Cook Acrylic Painting Club on Facebook. And uh, recently, Judy posted um, uh, a questionnaire. What, why do you guys like the Facebook Club? And some marvelous answers 
Um, you, you've got to read them. I mean, because the Facebook means club means different things to different people. But if you're an acrylic artist, you want a place to just kind of show off your art a little bit. We we have the place to do it. You can get help and t helpful tips. Judy is, Judy Guitar is one of our moderators, and she's always up there if you're uh, finding fa fabulous deals. If you live in the states, and we have some Canadian uh, viewers, if they've got something in Canada, they tell everybody here's a deal on this or that. So it's a good place to kind of. Um, Hang your hat. Hang your hat. It's a, it's a club, man. It's a club, and it's really fun. And you'll see our latest posts there, information about John and I, uh, our latest news, um, and also our we our we give shout outs to some of our artists and um, feature some of our artists who are part of our academy. It's a great place to hang out. I'm gonna say that right away because it's a it's a fun thing to do, and you'll you're gonna um you only benefit. How's that? You only benefit from being part of this great club. And it's it's uh, never just heard a disparaging word. That's one of the club rules, like home on the range. It's home on our club. And we, you know, we, we just, um, it's Zero just where the artists play. That's it. You know, the, the happy artists play, you know. Question came up. How long has Ginger been keeping that particular pallet loaded? That's three weeks? Well, this one's about three weeks, yeah. Yeah. And uh, so, I mean, I, we, you know, I'll have to give credit to my daughter, uh, Cinnamon uh, Cooney, the art sherpa. She sent me these, uh, I don't know, months and months ago, and I was reluctant to use them you um, because I tried them in the past and I thought they were terrible. And, but th this new technology has come out. These, these really work. And, um, and if you follow the directions, they work more. Yeah, you got to follow the directions, but they do work. <laughs> and, you know, fortunately in our household, we have a sock folder. So John is willing to go to all the pains and the rigmarole of getting, you know, doing all the preparation for this to work. But when you consider how long they last, it's a really great experience. And we've been using the same paper over and over again. Now, this, you'll see a background. This is a little 8 by 10 painting. Um, and... In fact, this painting will be part of our auction. We've got an auction coming up, you guys, of original Ginger Cook auction coming up uh, next week. and uh, Friday. It starts Friday. And so we're going to show you some of those pictures too. But here, here's a little background. John often will take leftover paint. I used to. And we don't have to. leftover we, we paint We don't have anymore. it anymore. But when we had <laughs> leftover paint, painted a lot of little canvases. So um, and, and I'm going to show you, if you start off with a dark, like a dark canvas, like a dark purple, right? I kind of show you real quick how how you might do something like this. It doesn't have to. You're going to change it anyway. But here, like here's a, well again here's another one where it's just a lot of blends of colors. But what you could do, for instance, when you have a a canvas like this, is that you know you have a purple canvas and you can take maybe a, um say a, a what well, let's start start with a round brush like this right, and I'll wet it. And I'll start with a little purple here. Here's a little gosling purple, right? And I'll just come up here like this and um, just tap that on there, right? Smash it around. Smash it on there. And then maybe I'll get a little bit of cad red medium. I like that color. I might put some of that in there, too, and see as I kind of blend that there. And it's kind of changing as it goes over here. Yes and yes. You can kind of see where I'm doing it. You get the idea of how one might do something like this. Here's a little magenta. Here's a little tiny zinc white. Okay. So, you know, if you're just kind of bored and you want to play with your paints a little bit, take some of your leftover paint and try just doing a few little backgrounds like this. The, the, no two will ever come out the same. Does that make sense? You're not going to get the same. But you know what? You'll get something pretty neat. And, and you'll learn a little bit about how to, you know, how to have an unusual background, not just a solid color. So then the zinc white's nice because it um, allows you to have um, a lighter color without getting it chalky. So the, basically, I'm just kind of showing you this is how you would do a background like that. And I think that, that, I think that that's helpful. Generally a good idea when you're doing something like this, keep the... Um, keep the um, Corners a little darker. It's a little tip. Write that down. Keep the corners darker. Let's take a little bit more of that zinc white here, and you can go over it in places, and you can you can layer and dry and layer. Just sort of smash it. I'm smashing this up here. Just sort of smash it in there, and you can you can see you can get. And I think this was some um, luminous rose, that color right there that he got in this one. I'll show you that color. That's by Holbein, the only people that make that, and it's really a good color. And uh, uh, ooh, let's just 
get the end of that here. I'll show you. That there's a little bit. You don't necessarily need this color in our painting, but since you want it, I have a feeling you're gonna say, Well, how'd you get that light color? Do you see it? You see, it's it's just totally different, isn't it? When you're talking about something like this. See, I mean I, I just want you to see how close I'm getting to this background color. And maybe put some more red up in here and a little bit of ultramarine blue. Red and ultra. Let's see, let's try a little bit of purple. See, I mean you can you can dry and play and this is a good 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 way to work with um a little bit of ultramarine blue down here on the bottom. See? Let's take a little bit of zinc white. Uh I'm telling you, you can have fun with a painting like this. Uh just learning how to do these backgrounds. And these this is a um a round Princeton uh brush. It's a number 12. They're very good for clouds. I highly recommend it. Um, and they're good for stuff like this too, because they're, they're designed to be abused a little bit. Yeah. Yes. And yes. See, you kind of see what we're talking about. And, um, anyway, that's, um, that's how you might do a background painting like this. Okay. So we'll just put that over here. So I've, I've got this one. I'm going to make this a little, these pictures a little bigger. Now, if you'll look at our reference photo, um, You'll see that we've got uh, some some main pieces of coral here and some pretty blue kind of uh, patterns and some white under the fish and so forth, right? So we don't want to put everything in there. We want to suggest coral. So I might use this brush and a little bit of, say, thalo blue, ultramarine blue, and I might just come in here like that. Let's take a little titanium white with it. Okay, and I might come in here like this and just, I don't know, just... Kind of tap this in here. Question but. came up on the uh, Stay Wet palette. Do you uh, spray the paints once in a while? Once in a while, you spray it depending on the whole. On the heavy the, bodies, you have to. The heavy, you have to. Though I, 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 I have found that. Um, but the Salvador, the, you the don't. Salvador stays so wet. If you spray them, it gets a little tricky. So I'm probably not spraying those as much, right? Is that a but, hog hair brush or is that a, a synthetic? A synthetic. I'm going to do something a little synthetic. darker up in here. We do have here. a hog here one, though, too. Yeah, I'm going to do a little something darker up in here. Just I'm just generally sort of pulling my... Kind of laying it in. Kind of laying it in, because I know that I've got some colors in here. Take a little titanium white. Let's come on down in here like this. And then just... Now, at some point, if I don't like the color on the brush, let me just put this over there for now. Um, I can just wipe it off. I don't want to get it any wetter, so I'm just going to wipe off the color and change it a bit. Maybe take a bit more white, come up in here. See what I mean? So I'm not Hi, you guys. Any more light Did you color. know that probably so the just first come up in here and do this. four hours of my... There we go. Kind of, kind of have an idea of where I want stuff to be. And let's take a little bit of blue and, say, burnt umber come up in here and um, maybe do this little dark area here in the corner. Just kind of kind of fun. We, we, we're going to do some stuff with the sponge too, but this is a good background color. So burnt umber and ultramarine blue. Let's come on up here and do a little bit of this dark and I'll leave some of the red showing too because it's kind of pretty. I don't want to lose all that red. It's um, Come on up here and do that, too. So I'm going to say that. So I'm going to just, you know, I've got I pretty much know what I want to do here. Now I've got a little bit of blue and magenta, right? I'm going to put a little bit of that color here. There's going to be a little shadow color here under my fish. Okay, a little bit of shadow color here. And I want something dark right here. So I'm going to say this area right here. Let's take a little bit of Payne's Gray and... Brown. I said this is going to be a dark area right here uh, before I put my coral. Maybe over in here too. That's a little bit of dark. Okay, so I'm just kind of generally playing with my background, saying, kind of figured out what I want. See, see what I mean? It just it doesn't have to be, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, Take a little bit of white and just come on over here like this. Maybe do a little bit of this purple color back in here. A little bit of white and ultramarine blue. 
We'll put Baylor too. Okay, so I've got just, I want some of these odd little bits of, of, of color in here like that, right? So, I mean, that's a good start for my background colors. Now, what has to happen is we have to dry this because as you keep playing, you know, you got to you kind of dry something. I'll see if there's anything I can do first before I have to dry it. I mean, this is kind of dried a little bit. Maybe I can suggest some sort of... Now, look, I can suggest some pretty interesting coral just using this brush. Do you see what I'm doing here? Just suggesting maybe there's a little bit of coral here. Kind of waving it around. Just that that's a little zinc white. Just using the tip. I mean, you know, it's under the water. That's okay. I could say that there might be something there. And I want something a little darker right here. Let's take a little bit of um, the Dosney purple and magenta. Make something darker in here for my coral. Let's say I want something darker down in here. And, you know, if you didn't want to go to all this trouble for the fancy background like I showed you in the beginning, you could just probably just... Um, Probably just uh, start with the big brush, a dark purple background, and just start with the big brush. Can do some pretty nice coral here, just with a brush like this, don't you think? Wipe it off. Here we go. Just another light. Ooh, too much paint. So wipe all that off. You can have sound effects. Any questions, John? Uh, yes, let me ask, uh, do we ever get hitched? We have not get hitched yet, but we are going to get hitched. And if you remember our Facebook club, you'll probably know before others. Except for the people that are coming to the wedding, they'll know. All right, so I like that. And then I'll do another more, a little bit of kind of light blue here. Let's do a little bit of white and blue. You want kind of some dark layers in between this. Hey, so, we'd like to uh, thank Eric for the donation that came in through the PayPal system. Thank you, Mr. Eric. Oh, thank you very much, Eric. And I don't want to me mention something. I could, this has got to dry for a second anyway. Um, let's see, where did you put those pictures? For our, um, Which pictures? My queenness. The ones that we're doing for the, um, the donations, those three paintings. Oh, they're over yonder. Well, we'll get those in a minute. We have a um, we we want to thank everybody that contributes to our channel. Those you guys that support us and support our channel, we appreciate that very much. Um, whether it's um, you know your your basic supporter um, on our um, acrylic painting with gingercook.com, whether you're a basic supporter or whether or not um, that you're using the Karen Little Scholarship Foundation fund. Um, to you know, to donate on our website, and Karen Little was, if those of you who don't know, was uh, John's wife. She passed away a few years ago, and um, like and and we now. did the foundation. In they were married like forty years, and they did we did the foundation in her honor because she was constantly uh, doing lovely things for people. And so, um, on our scholarship foundation, we help other artists uh, who maybe want to be in the academy. Um, and anyway, for those, so every three months, we started doing this every three months. Um, for anybody that's donated $100, whether it's, uh, you know, $5 here and $10 here, it doesn't really matter. But when you get to $100, you have one entry into a winning an original Ginger Cook painting. Here's here's one that um, I'm talking about. Here's the apple blossoms. We have this one, which is the, these are 8 by 10 the, uh, the the gal with the suitcase, kind of, uh, you know, the, our traveler. And then we have the um, the gazebo, and these are all original. Cook and so, as, as but, uh, whether it's on YouTube in the in the um, super chat or whether it's in the uh, over there on PayPal and our uh, on our website, um, you know we want you know how much we appreciate it. And uh, so, like for instance, when's the next drawing for these, John? Thirty first of what? Well, August. It goes through August, so it's the first show in September. Yeah, so the first show in September, we'll be drawing for these. So you guys, those of you who've been 
um, you're going to contribute to us. We thank you very much. It's our way of thank, thank you back. Thank you very much for that. And I think all the artists you've helped and you've helped scholarship, um, they're very appreciative too. So we thank you very much for that. And um, so the reason we encourage you to uh, use our website is because uh, YouTube takes about how much? 30%. 30%, right? So, you know, for every YouTube dollar. YouTube takes 3%. And, 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 and when we do it on our academy, PayPal takes 3%. So it's get a little more bang for your buck there. All right. So I think I think this is kind of dried enough where we can we can go you to the next. You want to talk about one of the students' artworks? Yeah, let's just take a minute. I can, I'm going to dry this, John. And John's going to dry. I want to tell you that in our academy, one of the things we have is over 500 lessons from the very basic beginner, never painted before, to pretty advanced lessons. And our our students are so phenomenal. They get better every week. They get better. They send them in for personal art coaching. I make suggestions. Um, uh, they come back with more ideas. It, it's, we want to just show you a few of our featured artists while I dry this. All right. First one up here is from Tara. This was a, um, a challenge piece for her because she did a great job on another one that was very similar for it. So Ginger said, here, see if you can do this. And I might say she did a magnificent job on that particular painting. Those are persimmons, not tomatoes, as one would think. Next up, we have one from Nanette. She did the uh, paper sack and tomatoes. Another magnificent job on that one. Beautifully done. A lot of these come in for personal art coaching, and Ginger goes through that and gives them a little bit of direction, a little bit of help. Sometimes they're just good to go. Um, any more now, Queen, or you want to come back to I it? I think we'll come back. All righty. Let's go back to the Queen. And that just gives you an idea of just some of the variety of the artwork that, you know, the things went. And also, if you, um, you know, part of our academy and you're, um, you know, uh, part of our video lesson library membership, Red Members, or um, our Wave and Water Masterclass members, a combination of both. Even if you have a YouTube, maybe you did a YouTube painting that you really like, but it didn't come out quite the way you wanted, or you just want an expert eye to tell you you're great, and I'll do that too, you know? Um, and you can send that in too, which is kind of nice. And then we have people that, um, you know, uh, maybe paint a little while, went on a family trip, took a couple of photographs, want to mem commemorate that. So on personal art coaching, once a month, someone can send us in something that either from another artist that lived long ago or that they admire or another painting. As long as it's not a YouTube artist, we pretty much will do personal art coaching on all of that. So here's my little sea sponge. Now, this is different than your house sponge. This was a real animal. Whoa. I know, it's scary. John, did you have to say it that way? I did. So I'm uh, tearing up my little animal. And you get a different texture um, when you use sea sponges than you would normally, okay? So the trick is they have to be kind of damp, uh, but not wringing wet. So just put them in a, just, you know, kind of wring them out, right? And just pick like a, like a little, they act like a little stamp. So I want some sort of little white, white bush over here. White bush, even the like a little the coral, water. like a little coral over there. And I'm going to practice on, on this one first. Here's our little. I'm going to practice over here to see if I like this. Got a little bit too much white in that. There you go. Yeah, I kind of like that one. That'll work. So now that I've decided I like that, never hurts to test on something else. People always say, well, I wonder if I can use this particular varnish or this particular thing on my painting. Try it on something you don't care about or that is less drastically. The results are going to be more, so much more challenging if you don't like what the outcome. See, I'm kind of turning the sponge just because I want this to, want some little things sticking out. Little corals. Little corally things. I'll come back with a little more white paint. A little more corally paint. All right, so this one back over here was more green. It had kind of a green thing back here. It's kind of a green color. So we've got some sort of green coral back in here that's in this one. I think I'm going to just 
twist my sponge around and do something else, see if I can get it to do some different shapes. That's kind of fun, too. Um, you want some of that dark color showing through, too. Let's take a little more green. That's kind of nice, right? Okay, that feels very oceany, doesn't it? That's a word, oceany. Oceany is a word. a word. Do you think that's a word, oceany? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to put a little bit of the yellow we, in the magenta. We have magenta. a new member out here of our face of our uh, YouTube. Yep. Do only Academy members get personal art coaching? Maybe the Queen would like to talk a little bit about that. Uh, yeah, only Academy members and not all Academy members. You have to be a red level or above because personal art coaching is, you know, it takes quite a bit of time. Sometimes it's been as much as 30 minutes on one person, maybe five, 30, it depends. And, and, and someone may send their painting into me several times. So we, we have it limited to our, you know, our, our kind of, you know, our membership that, um, but, you know, you can, you, here's the thing, you can sign up for a month, right, John, and say, I just want 30 days of, of the yeah. red, red level membership, and um, and you can send in, you know, a painting a week to me and for help. So you don't have to do it all the time, but I think you find once you start doing it, you're going to really love it. You'll see that people have really progressed in their art uh, very fast. And we're going to give you a big secret coming the first of the year, we will have a substantial price increase because of the time invested and our costs are going up on storage and everything is going up and we're sorry to do it, but we've held the prices for about three years now and we can do no more. Yeah. So be, and now if you come in, you're a grandfathered in at whatever price, as long as your membership stays active, you're a grandfathered in. Yeah, it never price. goes up. We have some people paying our prices. From 2016. For $16 a month. Yep. And they're still paying that. Hey, we'd like to thank Andrew for the donation that came in. So happy to get my Ginger and John Monday fix. I need this. Hope this helps. Thank you. And oh, and Andrew, I hope everything's okay with you. We've been watching the news. Andrew um, is uh, living in Haiti right now and things. I worry for you. You to come yeah. hang out at our house, Andrew, for a while. You want to come hide out at our house? Yeah. You're welcome. You can bring come hide out over. here. Just bring your family. Room. Bring everybody. We'll fix you up. You can come stay here until the task is over if you need to. Terry wants to know, what does the red level mean? We have in the on the new website, acrylicpaintingwithgingercook.com, our membership levels are by color. Red is kind of in the middle. It's the one that has the most lessons available. Uh, it has the most variety, and it's the first level that you can get involved with to get the personal art coaching. And then after yellow, we have the blue, which focuses on wave and water type tutorials. And then we have purple, which if you take red and blue, you get purple, and that gives you access to all the lessons in both categories. I wanted to do diamond, platinum membership, stuff like that. John went for the colors. I don't know what to tell you. I like colors. John went for the colors. All right, it's going to get a little bit of this orange here. Rinse the sponge. I'm just going to splish it out here. Let's get a little yellow. Got a little orange here. Okay. I'm going to say there's a little orange. Andrew might take us up on our offer. Absolutely. Just let us know. And we'll fix you up. He says, watch what you say. <laughs> We're not kidding. We, we wouldn't say it. You know, Andrew, we wouldn't say it if we didn't mean it. Your family. Your family. You, wanna go, you know, feel safe. One thing about it, Houston isn't facing the heat. That uh, Not that it doesn't get hot in Houston, because trust me, friends, it does. But Houston but it's is not, not 117. It is not facing the heat that some of these other... Um, that's places in the on the on the west coast are, are facing. You know, I, I grew up in Seattle and nobody had air conditioning. You didn't and, need it. No, I, I can. You know, I mean, eighty degrees was considered unbearably hot. <laughs> Just can't believe how hot it is, right? And um, I remember years ago, my sister and I, uh, with our housekeeper, we was like I think it was like thirteen. We went to um. Um. Uh. On a trip, a kind of a road trip to to Yellowstone National Park, and 
my dad, those were the days where you had travel agents and they'd give you, like you'd have a map and every day yeah, you could turn a, it. Trip tri triple A trip ticks. Triple A trip ticket and you knew exactly what hotel you were stopping at. And we we had the, you know, we... No GPS, we, we, This no was Google. like a... When my mother sent you off for the summer, this was like two months we were gone, something <laughs> like that. <laughs> so we drove from Seattle down to Wyoming to, uh, to Yellowstone. And I remember the Thunderbird Inn... It was just so hot, and we were going to stay at the Thunderbird Inn, and the Thunderbird Inn had a swimming pool. I mean, growing up in Seattle, nobody I knew had pools either, except the Seattle Tennis Club, and that was too far away. So, you know, um, this was, you, you wanted to go swimming, you went to someone's beach house, you went to the lake, right? Just, this was great, a real swimming pool, and couldn't wait to get there. Um, so there's a little pink here. I'm going to do a little, kind of a pink... Um, pink. Um, have a little pink coral here. Isn't that kind of cute? Kind of want some of this pink up here too. Maybe Is a that your bit. luminous rose? That's my luminous rose color. <laughs> See, it, it's kind of fun, right? Now, what Great I color. have to do here is um, I've got to dry this really well, and then I want to glaze some stuff. I'm going to show you a little bit about glazing. You know, because I mean. It, you just take a little time with this. I think it's if this is not a hard painting to do, just I, because I think you can be kind it's of a fun painting. I think it's kind of fun. So let me dry this. John, let John show people some more of the artwork. Oh, let students. me let me fire that up. My cleanness. Yeah. Mute the queen. Next up on our list is Lydia. She's a new member. Uh, one of our new members, and she did the um, Father's Day special that we had, the cigar and whiskey. Beautiful job on that. Absolutely stunning. Next up, we have Jenny. She's from Canada. This is her um, trickster, the card sharking dog. Beautiful job on that particular little guy. That went back and forth with Ginger for personal coaching a couple of times. And one of our newest members who's been doing quite well is Jenny. And, nee. and this is her, I don't remember what this one's called, but beautiful colors on this. This is our Smoky Mountain, something I think. Absolutely stunning colors on that particular one. And I guess we have to bring the queen back. Hold on a second. Who did you show? I showed Lydia's, Janie's, and Janine. Uh -huh. okay. um, all right, so you see where I've got the... Um, I, I, this is dry now. We're going to do a little glazing. Glazing is... Um, you can glaze with water. if you, you Golden open is probably one of the best paints to do that with because when you glaze with water with golden opens, it, it will bind. You have to be careful because acrylics stick to other acrylics and if you get too much water in them they won't bind to the paint that's underneath there there that's what they want to do so some particularly in um it's the polymers and so you've got to be kind of careful uh you, the, the reason we recommend glazing medium is because um like it's for instance you use something like this it's an acrylic so you can get real thin with it uh, you can get, you can get, what I mean by that is you can get hardly any paint into the glazing medium and still tint something. It's like, say, the difference between spilling coffee on your shirt and spilling tea. Yeah? And for those of you who used to sew, did any of you remember buying lace and then either soaking it in coffee or tea to change it and kind of age it a little bit? Absolutely. Uh, well, think of, think of glazing medium like that, except you can add color to it. Yes and yes? Yes and yes. So, um... I'm going to take one of these little cups here, put some glazing medium in it. You don't need much, maybe a teaspoon or so. And uh, depending on what you're trying to glaze. And I think I want a little bit of the ultramarine blue. I'm going to use one of my little sticks. I've got a great thing to show you about my sticks, too. These are <laughs> little coffee sticks. Um, We're branching out. And um, I'm going to just kind of mix that around there like that. That's kind of neat, and I want to put a little tiny bit of magenta in it so I can grab that stick, see hardly any, put that in there. Okay. These are real real sponge, sea sponge, not synthetic ones. Yeah, they're real sea sponge, and then there's a reason why you want to have those. Because they're more random. Well, they're more random, and you'll get the right, you know, they're worth, you know, you buy them at art stores, and 
people always say, I never know what to spend my money on when I go to an art store. I try to look mm -hmm. they look blue. We don't and have I that always problem. say, buy this, you know, um, when you're, particularly if you have a coupon, and I always tell people, buy buy something, something that's not, that they never put on sale, like sponges or T-squares or triangles, you know. That's what you should use your coupons on. All right, so here's our, um, here's our mixture. And um, I'm not sure about it, so let's... Um, Let's try it on this first. Um, take a kind of a dry brush here, a little soft brush. And let's try it on this one. Oh, that's nice. See that? See what I'm doing? See how it touched? Put that white under the water. See what it did? Mm, you just sunk it. You just we sunk just, it. We just sunk this. this um, and we kind of sunk the coral, too. See what you, you did? Now, if you need it a little bit stronger, let that dry and do a second coat. See what I mean? Hey, we'd like to thank Janet for the donation that came in through the Super Chat system. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, we got one coming through the PayPal. Okay. Well, Don, Don, tell us about that way I glaze. That is Anna Marie. Thank you, oh, Miss Anna Marie. I haven't seen you paint in a while, Anna. This is not the, this is not your art teacher police or anything. I just <laughs> I always look forward to your paintings and notice when you're not painting. I uh, appreciate it very much. It's always nice. We appreciate the fact that you hang out with us. Um, I'm going to come on over here and just uh, glaze this coral back here like that. You see how you've got this peach that shows through here. Isn't it cool? And I want a little bit of this on this side of this coral, this pink coral here too. There it is, and kind of on this end and just a little bit. We'll put a little shadow on some of this. Let some of it still be out here. And now uh, here we go. Let's put a little bit of this shadow color here. And then maybe back up here, even on our coral, maybe we can play a little bit. I want I don't want to do too much to the orange. This would not be the color I would put over the orange. But I could put a little bit under here like that. And really darken it. Yeah, I don't want to darken it too much. Now I might want to take that's a good one, but I might want to take um and maybe glaze this back a bit, but probably not with that. Though I do like this. Let me just do this. I do like this. I like the fact that this is a little darker blue. Isn't that pretty? And you just you can just really if just imagine putting like cellophane over something. Would probably be the way to describe it. Um so let's push this one back. And um let's see, I'm gonna put in probably let's take another stick here. Um uh, let's take a little orange. Get a little yellow oxide. All right, let's see what that does. A little goldy color. Mm -hmm. So let's take another little soft brush. Oh, we got a few over here. What do we got? Something soft. All right. Very good effect. Let's just kind of push that white back, maybe. Do a little of this color up in here. We got it out, right? Keep the, just kind of do that a little bit darker. Now, okay. So that we've kind of changed that a little bit. What if we put a little green with this? If we added blue to this, would we get a green? Kind of. See my little green? Maybe I want this greener. So you've got options, right? You can see you've got options. You can kind of you can push something forward or back, just depending on how much you know glaze and stuff you want to do with that. All right, so now what I want to do now is to bring out these coral a little bit more. I'm going to take the, an angle brush and some white paint, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tap on some little tips. Kind of like highlights. Yeah, those little tips. Can you see the little tips in the picture? See the little tips? 
And they're actually kind of pink. Now that I see them a little clearer, they've got a little bit of a pink tint to them. Is that my enhanced one? No, it's not even your enhanced one. Here's the enhanced picture, and you can see the pink there. You can see there's a little bit of pink to them. So we're just going to say there's a little, a few little tips. And even though the, the glazing medium is not dry, I'm all right with that. You know you are blocking my view. Sorry. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to say here's our... Okay, so we kind of enhanced that coral. Again, how else could we, let's take the same color, maybe a little yellow oxide, same color, and let's enhance this coral right here. Give it a few little tips, a little more white. This is where imagination really flows freely here when you're doing stuff like that. Come on out into the other part too. Uh, don't be afraid to uh, do a little more. But you see how you can really see the 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 coral now. Maybe I've got one that's coming down here a little bit, so it's just not a round blob. I don't really want a round blob of coral. So I will um, work on this shape right here. It's a little closer, so it's just sort of a little bit different. And then if you're still not sure, you can do a little burnt umber, say purple. Oh, but let's do red. I like red. Let's do red. And um, you can tap in some. Um, you can come back in. This is called painting the negative spaces. So sometimes if you want to bring something out, um, the, the, the sponge just sort of gave you kind of a pattern to go by so that the pattern didn't look so scary. Right, because sometimes patterns can look very scary, and then you're going, I don't know this. Um, uh, you, you know, you can put you can put a few little dark spaces back if you lost it. I want something a little redder down in here, and then for fun, I'll take a little bit of yellow and orange and go with something brighter up here. Remember, in any underwater scene, the light's coming from above. Yeah. There's um unless there's a volcano down here or something, there's no light coming <laughs> from this way. Okay, does that make sense? Oh, you speak like you you know what you're talking about there. Yeah, the lights light, lights coming from above, right? So yep. now, I want to do too much more because um, uh, uh, let's see, a little magenta and pink. Let's do some little pinks over here. Now, this is kind of fun. to me. This is fun. I don't know about you guys, but this is this is the funnest kind of painting. Because you've got a, a little bit of imagination. It's not like if you're painting in a hand and you, you miss a finger, people notice. If you miss a piece of coral, no one's going to know, right? <laughs> it's going to be okay. So you got to give a little shout out. And I want to say a shout out too, as I'm doing shout outs, I want to say hi to any of my grandkids that are watching. Uh, Linda Sue up there in, uh, where do they live? Pennsylvania. 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 <laughs> Never can remember. And I think I'm blocking it out. They used to live close. And um, anyway, so hi to you guys and hope everybody's doing well. And uh, there you go. You see, I've got this nice, um, really, I think kind of really nice. Uh, well, I'm almost thinking we just leave it like that. It's almost, it's kind of pretty, isn't it? You just, you, you, you hate just to ruin it with the fish. I know. It's just amazing. Come back with a little blue. I mean, it's amazing what you can do here. Just tapping in little bits of color and, and, and glaze color too. A little phthalo blue and, and white. You know, sometimes you want something a little brighter. Look what happens when you do this. I like that. You know, I mean, it's, it. I think it's got a, kind of neat, actually. Let's just, oh, I didn't get this corner, and I should have. Because I can see where we could do something kind of blue down here. And I can use the same brush and tap something down. Hey, we'd like to thank Christy for the donation that came in through the PayPal system. And also, Anne, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And we'd also like to thank Wanda, who she signed up on a kind of like a subscription model. 
make a donation so she makes sure every quarter that she has at least an entry in our drawing. Oh, that's a good idea. Thank you, Wanda. That's a great idea. That was rather clever. Okay. All right, so I need to dry this. Again? Sure. Look at how wet that is right there. Um, Would you like to talk about... Oh, we have, I only have one person left. Okay. So we can do the one person. Yeah. And then you can come back. We have to talk about the upcoming lessons and also the, some of the auction pieces we have available. Sure. Let's do that. Let's, let's absolutely do I'm, I'm for that. Let's do that. So, <laughs> I'm not I, against that. How am I doing a boss? I'm sorry. I'm just still playing with our lights. I know and you're going to dry it and you're not doing that. I know I'm playing with our lights and dark. It's all right. All right. So, all right. So I'm going to dry this. John, I just want to show you one last person. That one we're last teacher. person. All right. The last one we have for today is, I believe she goes by Johnny, but it's Jolene or Johnny Lene. I know you're out there. Maybe you can tell me how to say your name for sure, but I go, I call her Johnny. Um, this is the lady in the Blue Veil, I think, or it's the one we just did. We have another one we're coming up with. A kind of another piece with it. Um, beautiful job on this. I know that Ginger and her went back and forth a couple of times, but I really like the way the flowing came out, the colors, the blending she has in it. Just a phenomenal job. So congratulations on a beautiful job. Well done. And that's all I have for people tonight. And then make sure I got, yep, got everybody done there. So the queen will be back at right now. Cool off for just a minute. Um, by the way, by the way, I want to just, we talked a little bit about the hot weather in California and many of you may not realize this, but we have a, um, marvelous painting I, I designed some years ago. Um, and it's called Fireline and it was in tribute to some forest fires that were happening. You've kind of backed out a little bit, right? Um, you know, to, um, you know, on the West Coast. I don't know. This was about three years ago we did this. Yeah, I think it was about three years ago. And a lot of our members did it. And what they did with that is that they gave that to their local fire departments. And it was really appreciated. I mean, it, you know, these guys put their lives on the line. And, and did, you, did you get, I don't know if anybody listened to the latest speech. Some of these people get like, they're on minimum wage out there battling fires. I mean, it's crazy. So yeah. this is sort of a nice thing. And also, uh, for the first time, Oh, you know, we've never done it before. Um, we're going to be having this as one of our auction pieces too. So if you don't feel like painting it and you'd like to own it or, you know, buy it in honor of a fire person that you admire, um, this will be in our auction uh, starting Friday and uh, gingercookauction.com. And uh, let me just show you a couple other pieces that will be in our auction. Some of you remember the tiger that we painted last week. Uh, that will be in our auction. And I want to congratulate you guys that painted the tiger. Uh, if, you, if you go to our Facebook club, Ginger Cook Acrylic a Painting Club, and, and you know, wait till you see all the tigers people did. And one gal did did a really neat thing. She she did she did it a couple times, and the second time she made the background more pink and kind of made it a girl tiger. I loved it. You know, <laughs> it's a just girl really cool. Tiger. It's kind of a guy tiger, but she made a girl tiger. I liked it because she had just by changing some colors. You know, because you know I think that was neat and. Um, we have uh, uh, just a few of the, some of you remember that we have some of these six by eight piece, pieces. This is one that I really like. It originally been a YouTube lesson. And and, um, and we and I included the sign artists paint, artist paints here. So it's a little six by eight uh, canvas. Um, here's an, uh, another one, which is just our, um, you know, uh, kind of looking Bermuda, so the Bermuda view. And you're looking through the, rock wall ruins and you know out to the ocean and then this painting i've never put this up in the auction this was probably one of our uh, most uh, it looks like you got a little glare on it because we varnished these already but um there's no glare for us my queen. there's no glare for you no nope. okay these are that's how good um I um this this particular tutorial on painting how to paint flowers in pots probably one of the most successful youtube tutorials if you haven't seen this one and anyway this is the original to that 
that's being uh, and then one of our other real favorites and i've never put this in the auction before is the van gogh uh blue cup with the carnations and used in the background and this is a really neat picture so i want to show you that we'll show you a couple more later just um what i want to do now is i'm going to put my fish on here and um, now before you do that we have a question we well, two two questions the lady with the, um, Johnny did the lady with the veil and on top of her hat, wasn't that just a feather? It looks like a feather, yeah. Yeah, that's a feather. And then another one, could you use 3D gel on the coral? Uh, well. And, see, did, and, and that's why you're about to put the fish on it. So you, if you're going to do it, that. It would be hard to do because of the fish. You could you, because of the fish. You have to know, you know. Because the fish are going right smack here in the middle. In fact, <laughs> let me just. Take my scissors. Ooh, cut and the I'm fish. And I'm gonna just cut the fish out a little bit because I want to see where I want them. And how many cookies would you call tonight's lesson? Oh, I don't know. I think it's like one and a half. It's, this is pretty simple, you guys. Yeah. This is pretty. I Two cookies you. top. This is this is pretty simple. Okay, so I'm gonna just see where I think I want my fish. Um. You can swim them around a little bit. They can swim. See, it doesn't matter where they are in the river. Where do I want my fish swimming? And I probably will move them over. Uh, see, in this picture, they're right here. I'm going to tilt them down a little bit. You want to make sure you've got them tilted down a little bit like that. So I'll probably put them right, right there. Okay, kind of not quite smack that. This is the middle. So they're sort of not quite. Not, so let's move them over just a hair. Either got to go this way or this, yeah, this way. All right, so that's where I want them. And, uh, you know, maybe you want your fish somewhere else, but I want some of that coral to show up. So, so going them. back to the 3D coral, just be aware where your fish are going to go. Yeah, you might want to draw those well, fish Well, yes, you in. could do that. Yeah, you could do it. Sure, why not? So I'm going to just say, here's my fish. Let's see, that didn't tape anything, did it? All right, so I'm going to say, here's my fish, right? We're using artist tape because it doesn't... Um, doesn't peel the paint doesn't back peel off. the paint off, right? Which is a good thing, right? All right, now let's take a piece of Sorrel transfer paper, put it under here like so. Like yay. Like yay, as John likes to say. Dad always yeah, that's my dad. Dad always said it. Like yay. Like yay, right? And then let's um, take a pen... And make sure that it's marking. Yeah, okay. So now we're gonna we're gonna just trace over the put the fishies on. Put the fishies on it. Now this um give us tell tomorrow for the um uh reference photo and the actual painting to be up. That will be available on gingercooklive.gallery. No, ginger, what, what are we doing in now? Acrylic Painting with Ginger Cook. That's our new dot website. Com. Per, per, acrylic Painting with Ginger Cook. Dot com. Trying to get everything under one roof. I bet I know what you're going to do first thing when you get when after you get these guys on, on there. Yeah, let's let, let everybody guess. What do you think the first thing is we're going to do? <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> okay, so that, that showed up pretty nicely, didn't it? It really guys? did. Now, just think about it. If that had a bunch of texture on it, it'd be a little bit tougher. Yeah, I don't know. I think that yeah, would be a little more challenging, yes and yes. What could be done? So, um, but you want, I you want, want some clean white. And I'm going to I'm gonna show you my new trick. Uh-oh. This is my, well, I'm actually going to put some titanium white out here. But one of the things you can do when you need a little bit of paint is you can take one of these nifty sticks like this right look that's all the paint i want this is a lot better than squeezing a bunch of paint out on a palette when you just need a little bit right dry brush i'm going to come up here like this i'm going to paint the fish white and you know the reason we're doing that is because yellow only paints over white well, so, it will paint over other things. It just won't be bright. It, it won't be white anymore. It won't. It's it's not an opaque enough color. It is in oil paints for some reason. But acrylics, we are just not getting the. Um, you can't get the richness. Can't get that. Or the, the opaqueness. The opaqueness, 
And sometimes you need more than one coat of white too, not just. Oh, absolutely. Not, not just the first coat. Hey, we'd like to thank Ruth for the donation that came in through the PayPal system. Thank you, Miss Ruth. Thank you very much. We really appreciate it. Okay. So, um, Just come yeah, down the to... eyes and everything. Ginger could be able to put all that back in. Yeah, she, she's pretty clever. Yeah, I, it, she's it got a reference. Up Remember, the eyes, reference people. You can always probably um, kind of guess where the eyes go. But if you're not sure, then then paint around them. Be a little more careful. You know me. Yeah, I'm not very careful. Yeah, me. I and, go around them and. Tom would go around them. He and would respect the eyes, right? Yeah. So you can see I'm kind of smoothing it out here like this. Now, I'm going to put a little yellow with this back one. I'm going to take white and yellow so that I know. Um, I'll just put white and tint it with a little bit of yellow. I, I don't want to lose where these fish go. We would like to thank Victoria for the donation that came in through PayPal. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's very nice. We appreciate it very much. And um, Joan, you said you tried. I have not seen anything in there as of yet. Tried what? Making a donation through the link. So, Joan, nothing has shown up yet. Doesn't mean that it didn't. You should have got a receipt, though, from in your email. Anytime you make a payment through PayPal. Does John paint? John would like to paint. John <laughs> spends till three to four in the morning, sometimes five in the morning, working on our websites, answering emails. You know, we really don't even take days off. Just, yeah, we're talking you know, about I finally that the other day. told John we had to just to take some days off because we just don't. And, um, you know, I do packs up seven days a week and I'm just not doing that anymore. I'm going to at least take one day. And I said, we have to, you know, just do some stuff. But John's, um, John always feels like he has so much to do. And I explained to him and, um, you know, I said, yes, that's true. We always have a lot to do. And we have, I think, you know, some of the, most people don't expect replies on weekends from anybody, but John will reply. He, he'll, he's answering emails at two in the morning. And that's because we have a global audience, right? And, yep. um, and our two in the morning the is their 10 in the morning or yeah. whatever it is, right? So, you know, you can't really you can't really go by that. All right, so you see what we did there, right? And you have um, a yellow fish and a white the, fish. You have a yellow fish and a white fish, and there's tacky. So um, what we're going to do now is uh, just I'm going to just paint some other stuff. I want to go ahead and um, paint a few more of these. Um just giving them another coat of just a few little, not all of them, but just a couple. And then underneath our fish here, I want it a little bit lighter. So I'm going to take a little bit of white, and this is titanium white, a little bit of burnt umber, just hardly, just sort of tinted a little bit. And I want to come underneath these fish like this, my brush. It looks like a stick. sandy bottom. Yeah, I want to paint a little bit of the sand on the bottom here. Oh. Um, I'll start, you know, adding a few. Because it was in the, it's kind of pretty when they, you've got that, right? So, um, like I say, I want to come under the, here like this and suggest there's a sort of little fishies. Are under here. Let's see. You, you have to come under here like this. Yeah, there we go. All right. So as we go, as um, the world turns, as the world turns, we're going to paint a little bit more of this. Um, let's see. Let's take this little iridescent, luminous rose color, and just get a little bit brighter, closer to our fish. Maybe That's a little such a bit great of white color. with this. I've not found color. that color in anybody else's line. No, this this That's sort of bright. You can use a little bit of 
magenta too would be all right. We'll just want a little bit more of this color in here like that. But don't lose all of the, you know, your glazing stuff, but see how you can kind of, it just gives it nice iridescent kind of look, doesn't it? Now, this is where you could use some of your iridescent paints. Someone probably asked that. Yeah, you could on the coral and stuff. Why not? I think you could. Absolutely. That might not be a bad idea. Um, you could certainly do that. Let's just do a little pink up in here. All right. So, now I want to come in here like this and make a little bit of white here. And um, I want that sort of... Um, feel of, a, of an ocean floor. And I'm going to show you a trick on how to get that. You want to see how to get that? Oh, I bet I know what you're going to do. Okay. So what you're going to do is, um, you know, I'm just going to... All those fish, I hope we don't need them again. We don't need the fish again. <laughs> we just we just lost the fish. The fish are being, they're being filleted. <laughs> She's filleting the fish. We're filleting the fish, you guys. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to put... Oh, let's see, come back over here. Let's. What do we got? Who here? makes Design Magenta? That is a Matisse paint, and we use that when the Quint wasn't available. So just use Quint if you ever come across an older lesson that has Design Magenta. Yeah, they, they actually made that. Matisse actually made that for a... For a co uh, for college, wasn't it? For a college, for a special yeah. college class. All right, so now I'm going to take, um, let's see. So just, use the, just use the regular magenta, if that's one of our lessons. We just They just ran out of it, and that's all they had, and we needed magenta, so that's what we got. So we're going to do this. I'm going to come up here like this and kind of do something like this with our rag. And then we're going to grab a toothbrush and wet it. And um, let's just move this out of the way. We'll test it, yes? Yeah, I'd like to thank Julia for the donation that came in through the PayPal system. Thank you. So, thank you, Julia. So, see what I'm doing here with the toothbrush? Oh, Holding it very of. close. Doing that. So, now we're going to. We're going to come over here with our light color. Just use our fingers and make them wonderful. Let's make some sand, you guys. This is fun. The only reason you do this is so you can justify having paint on your hands. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's great. Uh, tap it off. Tap it off. Okay, let's get a darker color. Let's see, let's get some purple. On top. Now yeah, I'm going to move my little just kind of do my edge here now so it's not quite so fine. This is kind of the poor man's airbrush. You like it? <laughs> <laughs> it works. Let's do some blue here. So a little tiny bit of water on the brush. You don't need much. No, it would get, get big splats if you do it. You gotta be careful. These are good tricks to have. This is great tricks to know, yes? Okay. So now we've got this sort of sandy beach color here. Under cool. here. Kind of cool, right? Hey, you'd like to thank Pat for the donation and also Joan. Oh, thank you very much, you guys. Thank you very Gosh. much, both of you. It's very nice. Thank you. Uh, what, what are the blank spaces? What? 
what you covered what are the the areas that you covered that was the shadow here oh wait a second well you know what probably would have been smarter you know the smarter way to do this guys <laughs> now that we've done i would it this have glazed way. it we would have glazed it done the whole <laughs> thing white and glazed it maybe i should do that let's do That's that what i would have done but hey you know no but i think you're right i think it would look better <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean he's right. I think it would look better, don't you guys? It's all right, but that's all right. We can do that. We we are empowered to do that. Let's just do. We'll glaze it. It'll still be there, but we'll glaze it even more when we're done. There we go. Ah, uh, yes, it's still there. Yes, and then we can glaze it back. Yeah. Okay. So there you go. There's our <laughs> sand, right? Now, here's the thing. If you want it whiter, you got to do a couple layers. But we're just going to dry that, okay, real quick. It's going, you don't have to do much, John. Just tell them what, what wonderful things or something. Okay. All right. While she's drying that, a couple comments from the um, post that Judy put up there. Johnny writes to us, I'm so happy. What do you get out of the, being a member of the club? I am so happy I joined Ginger's Facebook club because it led me to her wonderful tutorials and to joining the Ginger Cook Painting Academy, where I feel I have learned so much and I bought the artist and it brought out the artist in me. Thank you, Ginger. Okay, that's thank a great you, thing to share. Do you guys remember when I put the toothbrush? Anybody remember that coming back to you? We took it away from you. Did you put it in the bucket? I don't know. It's short and it will fall down in there. Oh, it did. Yeah. That's right. It's short. I the person that washes those realizes it when they dump well, it I'm out. Well, I'm still having fun with this, so I'm, I'm sorry. I've got to do, I want this a little wider right in here, so we're going to just do that, right? Of course we are. Because I want you to see you can do, you can do layers of this. You could just, this is, this is the best beach sand. I'm telling you what, you want to. Well, that's why the fish are hanging around there. It's the best beach sand. You want to do sand, you've got to have a toothbrush. But then we got to go ahead and give this a second coat of white here on the bottom of our fish because we kind of lost sandy. him, you know, because we kind of, but that's all right. You know, this is, you He's know, kicking up the sand with his fins. Yes, yeah, it's just kicking up the sand with his fins, but still oh, nice, right? So, um, and um, I think I want to just do a little bit of yellow right here. This is yellow oxide. I'll put some yellow oxide up here because he does this. Okay. We'll just nice color. Yeah, yellow oxide is a good color, and it's got. We'll put a little bit of orange in there too. Some of that orange color. Just wipe it off. Just put a dab in, and it doesn't have to be everywhere. Sometimes you think you got to put stuff everywhere, but Sometimes you just, you know, maybe you've just got a little bit of orange right around the rim of where this is and wipe off the excess paint. Just work the paint in you've got, you know, like that. Take a little bit of yellow here. Okay, a little bit of cad yellow. Okay, and then now I want the cat, the kind of the lighter yellow for the rest of him. Hoping that that has to dry though. I thought you used a hair dryer. Yeah, but I did. I just painted that oh, white painted again. again. I had to paint over it. So this is, we can only kind of do partial on this, but gotcha. um, I can still use that nice yellow. It's going to take a couple of this of yellow fish. anyways. We can, we can work on this little guy here, right? And just uh, paint this. And These are known as the, butterfly fish. These are butterfly fish. Aren't they pretty? I think they're cool looking. And uh, this is where having cad yellow uh, light and cad yellow medium and, you know, maybe a lighter yellow even still is an, always, a, you know, it's never, yellows are your primary colors. And so if you're going to invest, you know, try to decide what kind of paint you want, um, consider, you know, different yellows. Because that's, and particularly if you like to do flowers and stuff, that's a good thing to do. Okay, so we're going to just pull that down there like that. So we've got... We still have some shadow on these fish. For instance, yellow and paints gray. 
I don't think that was purple. Was it? Um, let's see. Let's just take ultramarine blue and yellow because that'll make a nice kind of a green. Like, for instance, their nose right up here is kind of green. There's like a green thing on their nose. People always think everything's one color, and of course it's not, right? And um, put more yellow here. So kind of acting you, as your shadows. Just, just kind of, you know. His, giving you the 3D. Yeah, giving it the 3D effect. So it just doesn't look like we pasted them on later. <laughs> and uh, the same thing with this fish up here. He's a little green here, too. Green behind. What's that special green behind the gills? This part's got a little green. Even though they're, um, they definitely look, um, uh, uh, Watch how these kind of curve around on his on his uh, body here like that. And then there's a little bit of a kind of an orange brown color that's it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be too perfect, but it doesn't hurt to Take a little bit of time with this. Any questions? I don't believe so. So when you were showing um, uh, paintings, did you tell them that Jenny Hotch did her um, dog? She gave it to her doctor? I did not. Did you know? Yeah, you know the trickster painting that we showed you earlier that was done by Jenny Hotch there up in Canada? Um, she actually gave that p painting. She worked for you know good months on it, and then gave that painting to her doctor as a gift, which I thought was really nice. It was pretty. One of my favorites. That was a good lesson. Yeah, we have a lot of good animal. Um, animals. Animals. Oh, speaking of animals, you need to show them that other one they did, that PP one. You know what I'm saying? Oh, the splendors with this. The guy that's down there next to you. Oh, you guys, let me just let that dry for a second. Anyway, we want to see something. I want to see some stuff coming up that's way cool. You, you got to see this one. So we're talking about. Um, uh, a lot of people have asked us for a pig, and um, this is going to be a tutorial coming up on our academy. And what was our title on this? Possibility pig. Possibility pig, you guys. And, and we're showing you how to use these uh, Princeton um, brushes that are, um, what do we call these? Princeton. What? what oh, they're the, the, the um, grainer. Green. Pr this is all done with the, the Princeton grainer brushes in, in different sizes. Um, the link is working, Steffi, if you did not put the word secret so close to it. You have to separate the words. I just checked it. Okay. The link then, is acrylic painting with gingercook.com slash giveaway. All right. Now, what I want to do now is it really back us out here, John, while I'm letting this dry for a second, right? I'll be back, my queen. Um, what I want to show you now is that, you know, we do so many different styles of paintings, and we really love the old dead artists, the ones that Van Gogh, Monet, those guys, and we go back maybe 400 years and find you artists you never heard of that are fabulous. And... Um, we also get a lot of requests for palette knife paintings. And so every week we release something different. This is um, one of Monet's uh, 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 garden paintings, and it's all done with a palette knife. John's varnished that. Doesn't have any glare on it, right, John? Nope. So that's, uh, I think that one's, what, 20 by 20? Maybe yep. Say, yeah, 20 by 20. That will be the newest Academy release. So if you're loving palette knife, Want now, something... see, this was originally done by Man Monet. Yeah. And then Ginger Van Gogh it. Because if you look at the original, you're going to say that looks like a Van Gogh because of how Ginger painted it. Yeah. So, anyway, it's kind of neat, though, isn't it? I, it's, I think it's very cool. And so, this is, a, this is a, I think this is cool. This will be in the Academy. This is the Academy release for the, the later on this week. 
Um, you know, we don't expect you to keep up with everything we release. We understand not everybody wants to paint pigs or flowers or... We don't um, want to paint pigs. Um, but not everybody does, John. Oh, so the reason we have wrong. so many uh, different different lessons at different skill levels is because you guys are all different. You all have different things that you want to get excited about painting. So there's that, that we've got that. And then... Where do you see this one? Uh, probably, I'm not sure when this will be released, probably later in August. Yeah, it'll be August for this sure. It'll be August, and this is 16 by 20. And um, this is called Swan Garden. And, um, and again, this is a box of cookie lesson, but um, I, I, I bet you certainly could paint this larger than 16 by 20. It would be spectacular, larger. It's got the hydrangeas, the azaleas, uh, you know, the apple blossoms, the swans, the fun stairway, a um, little bit of architecture in our garden. Um, really, we think really neat that this. These are, this is why you guys all goes part of our garden collection that's done more in the Thomas Kincaid style of painting with this type of flower garden. Um, and uh, we've got a lot of garden pictures in our academy and starting from just two cookie on up so you can really learn how to paint something like this. So if this is something that would excite you, you the academy membership is for you. And, or at some point you'll be able to buy just the individual lesson. It's several hours, though, isn't it, John? Six hours. Six hours. Okay. So you got that. So there's just a few of the things we've got there. I think we've probably dried up a little bit here. Now we'll go back to our our second place where we said we would glaze something. Remember I said we could glaze that a little bit, put the shadow under our fish. So here's our glazing medium. Yeah, you guys with me? This is dried. So here's my... I want a little bit wider brush here. Where's that? Oh, hmm. Got to do this fairly quickly too. I want a bigger brush. It's softer here. Let's try this. There we go. Just kind of. Which brush is that one? I don't know. This is one of the art trippers, I think. I'm just gonna use my fingers and I'm gonna just create this shadow under the fish like this, and maybe another one here. See what the glazing medium does. Isn't that neat? It makes your shadow. Yes, yeah, so a much easier way than the way I was doing it. I'm telling you, that was just crazy. That was kookadoo, right? How I was doing it. Well, wanna... you wanted to show how typically you would do it. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. So here we go. Let's just glaze this back. Because then you want to demonstrate there's other ways to do it. And yeah, there's a lot of different ways to do stuff. You don't have to do stuff the same way. But look, we're gonna glaze this back back here a little bit, and um, and so we got some some. Now we're creating some real depth, and there was something dark back under here too, um, kind of behind them that went like this. And that, then you've got this really, I think, kind of cool. Let's just glaze all this over here too. Uh, and then maybe even the back side of this, this coral here. So we'll, we'll glaze that. And you see, it goes a lot. It stayed pretty, pretty nice, didn't it? The, the glazing medium? Oh, absolutely. So? Stayed pretty nice. This is a stunning piece. So, I mean, that's kind of the trick to do it. Up to have some just soft brushes. Um, yeah, I right. think soft brushes with the glazing medium is the way to go. It has to be treated more like a watercolor. Yeah, very soft. All right, so we're going to we're gonna go ahead and put a... We're going to take yellow and blue and make a dark green. Wipe off the excess paint. And little sound effects there. Put a little red with that. Okay. Now I need a little bit of a, a little bit of an edge on this guy right here, just up here like this, and uh, let's see the same thing with this one. There's a little bit of an edge. Not don't do a complete line. Just suggest an edge, right? I'm going to darken some of this. Didn't get as dark as I like. And then I take some blue here, and right down here, I'm going to add his eye, which is sort of a phthalo, that's kind of more of a phthalo blue. Interesting shape. It's almost a box. 
looks like an upside down pot, which is interesting when you look at the shape of it. Okay, and there's that eye on this one. And uh, I think we need to bring the these down under his tummy here. Just bring them on down. Curve them like that. So you get to see how much rounder he looks, yes. Yes and yes. And let's take a little bit of white and phthalo blue. And uh, do that. There you go. Just put a little bit of kind of brighter color in there. Yeah. I mean, it's coming along, you guys, don't you think? Now let's go back up here and brighten some coral up here with that bright orange color where the light might be hitting it. Kind of darken it down a little bit with the uh, drying. Yep, yeah, it sure does, doesn't it? Okay, got some bright, brighter coral right there, and I've got a little bit of a. I'm gonna put a little bit of a darker color next to this fish. Just tap in a little bit of red here. Maybe you're doing that for a little bit of contrast. Yeah, a little bit of contrast right next to the nose. On this coral and let's see can we do any light here uh, yeah we can let's just do a couple little light bits here kind of near these guys right and um, I know I've got to do um, I want to come in a little steeper on this nose here than I got right here like this. So I'm going to just come in there and just give his nose a little more of a dish. A little dish nose here. As long as we're as long as we're doing coral, let's put the coral around the fish here. Okay. Then we're going to take a little white come under the fish like this a little bit more white some light yellow let's get some light yellow and get the light yellow around the outside of his fins and stuff You know, I see a question here. Sure. Where did it go? Going again. Hold on. When you join for a week or a month, do you get to keep the downloads and or the extra? The lessons of self, if you join as a member, are not downloadable. Uh, the majority of our lessons are available for downloading. You would purchase them and you would have them forever. Yeah. We um, got hours and hours in these and not really giving them away for 20 you know, for $30 a month, right? But as long as you're a member. As long as you're a member, you have access to them. You have them. access to them. But once you give up your membership, you know, you join for a month and you quit, and then you don't have what access to What can you paint in a month? You've got over 500 tutorials. You always come back and uh, do it, but that would give you the personal art coaching uh, that you would, you know, I would think enjoy having. Okay, so I'm going to just come out here and fill out some of this coral a little bit more now. We are making more of our lessons available for download for several reasons. Some people just want to have a lesson or two, and some people who don't have good internet connection and they need to download it to be able to play them smoothly. Others like to take them with them when they go on vacation. Oh, yeah, that's a good one, too. Like, particularly, so you know, there's sort of a, I don't know if you guys realize that or not, but there's a real camping surge in the United States where everybody got so tired of being cooped up that they can't get out of the house fast enough and go. <laughs> Hotels are booked up for months in advance. Americans are on the road traveling. No question about it. We are traveling. Um, absolutely. No question about it. We are, we are, wouldn't you say, John, that we're, we're we're traveling, well, not John and I, but people are traveling. 
People are right? traveling. Definitely traveling. People, people are definitely traveling. It was just. Once you make them a download lesson or they move from the academy, no. That's why we're building a new website that has both downloadable and membership. And that's why it's taking so long because we're we're building two sites into one site, really, is what we're doing. And also that your friends and academy members get discounts on downloadable lessons and depending on what your um you know what where you are with that, right? So Gonna darken this up just a little bit under here where his shadow is. A little more contrast underneath and see if we keep playing with this. We're about done, but um you can see how we can just darken this up a little bit. You've got the sensation of your fish it looks like floating. Yeah, which is what you want. I'm gonna just do a little water and blue now here and dark darken up that little bit right there. And it's it's just an interesting it's in, in what you've learned in today, what you've really learned today is how to use some of these tools that maybe you didn't know before. This well, is just water and the, make the sand and then do shadows. Yeah, and then do shadows. You've learned that. You kind of learn how you can use a sponge to do something like these. Uh, the, the pattern on something like a like this can be very daunting, but if you use a sponge, then you can kind of. You get in there and you can say, well, okay, I see how to do that now. I've got the sponge here. I can now go in here and and maybe um, put in a dark spot and, and a dark spot here and kind of bring out the sponge uh, or this piece of coral here that I, I wouldn't have known how to do before. It really helps you. Um, it helps you helps you see the shapes, which is of course sure. awesome, right? And um, I feel like this um this eye needs to be bigger here. Um it needs to be bigger here. There you go. Um can you browse the downloadables even if you're not a member? Yes. You can browse on the new website you can browse all lessons even without being a member. And once we get a little bit more done, we'll have them in categories so you can find them easier and searches and we'll have all kinds of things that'll make it easy for you to do. Yeah. Let's do this a little bit more here. Let's just round off the top of his eye right here, this marking on his eye. All right, so that's better. Yes and yes. So I feel like we we were more successful with that now that we're going to darken up some of this. See, everything's about contrast, so if we want something to show up, we want it to have contrast. We can do it. And you can. The thing about glazing is you can play with it. You can glaze and then not glaze and glaze and not glaze and glaze and not glaze. And it's, you know, dry and, you know, change colors or add more or, you know. I want this a little bit oranger here. So he pops out a bit more. There we go. So that brings our... Um, well, that's kind of pretty. I like a little bit of this orange over here. There was a little bit of this orange on this coral, too. We might put a little there. Well, John, I think that we can be pretty happy with this. I'm pretty happy with this. If a, t if a tutorial is retired, does that mean it's off the table completely? Yes. Pretty much. We just the runs we've retired are the the early ones where we did it with a single camera. Poor and quality. Poor quality. Well, I mean, that the quality at the time, but it was the best we had at the time. But it's not what we do now. Yeah, once they're gone, once we say something's going to be gone, it's going to be gone. Then you know what was up in here? He had some pretty. There was some pretty nifty little corals up in here too. That came around here like this, little corals. There were some neat little corals. Well, we don't have to put them all in, but I think that's kind of nice. All right, I think I'm going to say that this is our. I think we can be pretty happy with the, our our fish. And um, yeah, we'll let you know before we do any uh, retirements. Give and, you uh, a heads we, up. 
we might take a moment now to, uh, we're going to do, let's see, I want to just lighten it up under here just a bit. Some fine touches. Just under here, just a bit so it shows up. All right, so there's our, there's our light fish here, and let's get this lighter up here. Can right, you tell yellow. me, is glazing used on top of the acrylic painting or to be mixed in with it? You can do both. But glazing is meant to be, for the most part, on top of a lighter color that you want to tint. It's like, imagine putting a piece of cellophane. Well, just uh, like if she added the blue down there at the bottom for the shadows, that was all the same color as what's between them. See, here's a, here, and if I, and since it's dry, if I do a bit more, now look what happens. You and see? just get a little bit darker. So it would get a little bit darker right here. If you, I wanted, you can build it up. You can build it up, but you, you don't try to do it all at once. Just build, build it up. For instance, if I want it darker under here, and it's it works really better than paint, not just alone. It's just it's a really marvelous thing to know how to use, and um, like you're I still say, keeping all the tones and the textures underneath it. Yeah, so you can you can see how these light areas you can just tint. You know, you, you're really just talking about tinting. Uh, but the paint has to be dry. If it's not dry, it doesn't work. Just a thought. That's true. I'll okay. just mix in. So, um, let's see. I want to do one more thing here, John. Just a couple little reds. A little more contrast right next to the nose of this color coral. All right. We've got a little bit of that over here, too. We've got the cad red. I want to use it, right? Just there we go. Look at that. That's funny that the next layer. Well, yeah, red, you have to do that. You almost have the red, you almost, it's right, with red, you almost have to, that kind of balances out that. We color. use the uh, satin, satin glazing medium. Yeah, I, I, the reason I don't like the, the gloss is because it makes a shiny spot on your painting. It's really glary, it's very hard, it's very glary for her when she lays things when, down. When you're trying to, when you're trying to. Um, I, I could not paint in that environment that she's painting in. It what do you mean? Nuts. Oh, how messy it is? Mm-mm. -mm. The glare. Okay, yeah, the glare. I yeah. can't do the glare. Okay, so there you go, you guys. We've well, the got... tutorial stay up on YouTube. Yep, at least yeah, for the foreseeable stay... future. Sure, it's just going to stay up. I'm going to go ahead and um, sign it. And uh, right now, we want to take a moment and uh, 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 while John's looking to see who won the Salvador paint kit and the downloadable lessons, let me just I won't let that dry for a second before I sign it. Here's a couple more of our auction pieces that are coming up. The Wishing Well, which I think um, somebody wants to you know, wish for happiness, better life. I love the Wishing Well. And then if you'll remember from our um, quintessential color mixing journal, here's the original boats that uh, came with that. That's really neat. So if you own the journal, okay, now this is really kind of key here. If you own, if you bought... If you bought the videos on how to make your own color mixing journal, in the very back, we have the, let's see, way back here, we have the, um, we have the same painting, and in the, in the video, we have the video on how to paint this, and I think it might be nice to own the original so you could really see the colors, see what I mean? So that's uh, the color, really you know, it. how to do that. This is how, this is an example of how to use, how to make your color mixing journal work for you when you're doing paintings. And uh, this is available at um, Acrylic Painting with GingerCook.com. It's, um, I don't know how many videos on how to mix colors. And you make your own journal. You don't buy the journal. You make your journal. But we show you how, using just eight essential colors, how to mix all the colors, even the ones that you see, for the most part, in the Salvador paint set, and two bonus colors. So that's the quintessential color mixing journal. If you guys haven't seen that. And we, it's important to know what your colors look like when they're in black and white, too. All the ways to mix colors. So, takes the mystery out of mixing colors. Just a couple of things. And I always think of this painting, I always think of our friend Yoshi. And um, when, when I look at this one, let's see, where'd it go? Oh, I don't have it here. Well, yes, yes, I do. Uh, do I? Yeah. I always think of Yoshi. This No, it isn't. Which so one are you looking I, for? I was looking for the lady that's reading a book. Well, we have a lady reading a book, but oh. a, a, that was the first one Yoshi, I think, ever painted. 
So anyway, that's what we got, you guys. So let's talk about who's going to be um, getting the acrylic, uh, paint, you know, painting set. How many? How many entries did we get? Did we get enough likes, by the way. Oh, it took us forever. We got two hundred eight en entrees. Okay. These are great paints. The Salvador paints are professional paints, and they're really marvelous. They go a long way. We recommend you use like gold and titanium white with them. And, um, and you know, on their website, on our Amazon website, they sell for under... Uh, oh, they're on sale again. They're on sale again, but they usually sell for under 20 bucks. And the thing with this is that you can't beat that. It's such a deal. And, and, and they're good. They're really nice. All the colors are kind of mixed for you. And great um, for traveling. And you, you've seen from the last year and a half of our YouTube shows how successful we've been in using them. Yes and yes. So... Um, we just have that other palette already out today. That's yes, what we, we kept. Just used to, yeah, we just used it. We, you know, people have, we had some people complain even. How come you never show us how to mix the colors? Well, you know, we know how to mix colors. You would go to our website. We only use these kind of colors, the professional colors. We don't use the Salvador on our website as far as our over 500 tutorials. We don't do that. I think we've but done two, you, you one know, or but, two lessons with them. And that's it. Yeah, but you certainly can. You can do anything. They're good paints, you know, they're really good paints. And if you're first starting out, if you try to buy all the professional colors, and I mean, what would the cost of that be, John? Maybe you looked that up at one point. Yeah, it's in the quintessential. It's in it's the quintessential. We talk about guide. how much it costs to get started. For some people, it's prohibitive to buy the professional paints. So you can use the, the Salvador and you can get started. So I'm going to sign this as you tell us. Yeah, who. right now, the small tube set's at eleven ninety nine. the large tube set's at twelve forty nine. Yeah. According to our our famous shopper, yeah. So I um, mean, again, you can go to our Ginger uh, Cook Alive dot Gallery forward slash Amazon and find them right there. The winner of the Salvador paint set is Margie Evans. Oh, congratulations, Margie! That's awesome. Now, did you in the um, accounting department, Miss Ellie, discuss what you're doing with the giveaway? No, well, what I want to do now is I said we give away two downloadable lessons, right? Do you have something in mind in particular? I, I do. I'm, I tell you what, it's, it's, this is really cool, you guys. Those of you who hung with us, you know, you said, wow, they didn't do a painting this time. We're doing, I'm going to, we featured, I just showed you our quintessential color mixing journal. And... We do once in a blue moon. You may find this as a we we've offered this as a a gift on downloadable lessons over a hundred dollars worth of videos, and so someone's going to win this. And um, if you already have the quintessential color mixing journal, um, we'll go ahead and give you the equivalent credit on the website. But I tell you, you this is one you really want to to own. This these set of videos. We're going to set you up for life on how to mix colors. So we're going to, somebody's going to win that. I mean, it's really, really, um, it's really fantastic. And we, we again, show you what happened, you know, um, uh, just why John's looking for that. You're going to learn the 12 colors you've got to have plus whites. You're going to see how black kills your colors. You're going to learn how to use the color wheel when mixing colors. Um, why professional brands of acrylic paint actually save you money. We're going to show you that. Um, you're going to save, really, we feel, over hundreds of dollars in mixing the wrong colors when you're trying to mix paint, and you waste all that paint because you don't know how to get the colors, right? And um, and whether you're a professional acrylic artist or a beginner, you can achieve the ability to mix colors, right? It's just like um, it's like following recipes. You, you know, once it makes sense to you, you're going to absolutely... I'll find it very, very uh, helpful. Um, you know, what can you do with Dazni purple? You know, wh why do you want that color? Uh, just great. Then the, some of these other things we have, here's an example of the some of the Salvador colors in their kit, and then how you can use our eight colors to make most of those and the ones that you, you know, and the colors you have, why you have to have cat cat cadmium yellow medium all these things are answered in all these videos it's pretty fantastic so who who won this john that would be krista krista jane krista jane and where's krista jane from she hails from virginia from virginia well congratulations krista i know you're gonna love this and um and and you can go to our um 
Amazon store and where we have the the actual journals that you know the actual journals you can get though maybe you already have something you we think have would links work. to all that stuff we in have the, all that all the materials you're going to need but basically it shows you everything. Th th this is really pretty fantastic so we have uh, that and then we also have uh we're going to um so somebody um where was the person that won the acrylic paints from oh i'm glad you asked that i can scroll back to the other end of the list where where, where are they from they are from, they're also from Virginia. Wow, two Virginians. Wow, that's unusual. Yeah. All right, so um, they were miles if apart we can get there. someone that lives somewhere around the world to, um, we want to give you a downloadable le lesson on our back to basic, um, uh, it's, it's how many Back lessons? to basic series one, 34 lessons. 34 lessons, all in one. This is, this is some big stuff we're giving away today. Back to basics. Series one, we keep adding videos to that. We're at 34 videos and that on just the things you have to know as, a, as an acrylic artist. Fabulous series, own that forever. Back to basic series one. And who, who's won that, John? Going back to the other end, boss. You're scrolling me all over the place. Okay. I'm good with that, right? I want a little black here. What was that number? I can't remember things. Oh. Pickled brain, pickled brain. All right, John's looking when we, again, we, so look, if you like what we're doing, if you like our channel, please subscribe. Take a moment to subscribe. Put the videos in a playlist. You'll get around to them eventually. Take a moment at the end of the videos to not comment in the live chat. When the video has been up for a while, come back and tell us um, whether you like painting fish and whether you thought you got a lot out of this from uh, painting the fish. And then finally, join our Facebook club and show us what you've painted from our tutorials. We're excited. We want to know. We want to know. We want to know you, and we want to have you part of our community and help you participate. So, what do we got there, John? A uh, person from Florida. Florida. Back to Basic Series 1. Back to Basic Series 1 from Florida. Who's our Florida gal? Robin Burkemper. 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 Okay, Robin, congratulations on that. So, you guys, we again, we appreciate so much you hanging out there with us. We'll be back next Monday. We might even do a special show on Friday to introduce our auction, which starting Friday. You might see us Friday. Might come back and do a sneak show on Friday. Do something fun, give away a painting, and do something really cool on Friday to introduce our auction. But it's gingercookauction.com. If you want to look for that, see the great. And be sure to get our newsletter because we're always telling you great things too. So are we happy with that? Everybody had a good time? We've answered all your questions? And you know you're going to love painting the fish, right? I know your our butterfly fish are going to be your next thing you're going to want to paint. And uh, have fun with the sponge and the glazing medium. And incidentally, you don't have to buy such a big jar of glazing medium. You can get a small thing like like that big. It comes in sizes. Don't, don't buy a giant one. Get something small. I've been using my giant one. I've got half of it left. and have been using it for two or three years. And I, I Just buy a small thing if you can. Is that it, boss? That's it. We thank you for jo joining us. Again, big hugs to all of you. Love you guys. And your comments and your uh, thanks to everybody who contributed to our, our, our little scholarship fund. Big hugs. Loved all of you guys. And uh, Wait a minute. What? Um, I th think she wants to pass. She might already have it. Who wants to who pass? Who was it? The um, color mixing guide. Oh, really? Robin. Somebody said... Robin, are you out there? Robin, Robin. Yes, John, I already have it. And would would you please pass it on to someone else? Can do. All right, all right. So, quintessential color mixing journal. Robin already has it. Do you no, love no, it? no, not the color mixing journal. The series one. Oh, the series one. Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm going to do another. Sure. Another Just, number. Get another number. Got another number. And, uh, love to get out of the country. 
you know, but we don't have any control over that. You know, no, we don't. We just, it's just random. You know, we do go all over the world. And of course, it, nothing's easier than giving you a downloadable lesson no matter where you live. So if you think we're just hanging out in the United States, it's not true. It just, it's what comes in, right? I have a Janice Melton. Janice Melton. Okay. So you've got the. Uh, See if Janice is out there. And uh, where's she from? Uh, California. California. All right. Well, Janice, uh, you use contact us. If the, if if she's not out there, then we'll see. If nobody gets it this week, we'll do it next week. How's that? Well, we're going to say, say goodbye now. We won't keep you all on pins and needles. You guys <laughs> were great. We thank you very much. And thanks our moderators for hanging out there with us. And uh, hope you're all having a great summer. And happy painting from John and I. I'm a student, I say with glee, of Ginger Cook's Academy. Take your time and do not rush. Use ruby satin silver brush. Don't use black and mix the green. Learn what blend and grayscale mean. Yes, I hope each day to earn coaching praises as I learn. I'll be an artist, wait and see. Ginger means the world to me.